When I was a young warthog. Well, there goes my rent deposit. Yeah, fucked up the wall. Sweet. Man, I really did a nice little chunk there. Too bad that they didn't paint any of the walls when I moved in, so like... It's whatever, because I'm just gonna say that was there when I moved in, right? Am I right, Chair? Am I right? Where are my anal beads at? There they are, anal beads. Gotta use them to hold the camera, folks. Hey, look, I promise I didn't kick down the chair for no reason. I uh, am actually getting ready to show you guys a new chair that I have, because I am done with my DX Racer. Um, I've had this thing for two years. Obviously, I'm not like throwing it away or anything. I'm gonna be giving it to Amber. Uh, but I got a new chair. I got a new chair that came in the mail, and uh, we're going to build it and show you guys on video. So, the fuck is my floor so creaky? Give you guys a little more updates with the channel and stuff like that. I have so many exciting things happening. I don't want to tell you guys right now, and that is simply because I want all the things to be a surprise. But right now, it's kind of hard keeping things a surprise, and that's because, well, nothing is happening because I don't have my car. Boom. There it is. This is uh, this is the new chair, folks. Uh, it's from Secret Lab. Uh, so if you guys want the chair that I have, I got the Omega Royal one. So SecretLab.sg, and the box is like 80 pounds. My story actually about this package is I had it coming in when I was in Atlanta, and uh, they never sent me cracking Jesus Christ number. And it was coming in, and I never even knew it. And so I had a FedEx uh, package come in. For like 80 pounds and I couldn't remember what I had ordered or what I had so it showed up one day and I was like oh I don't even know how I'm gonna set this up I think it's gonna be something like this with the anal beads uh, I think it's good right there I guess sure yeah we're gonna go with that one pretty excited to set this thing up uh, I'm, I'm actually really excited it says no cutting but I'm a rebel so you guys know how I work man dude I feel like I open boxes for a living just simply because of fan mail and it's own Check that bad boy out. That's what we need for inside my car, yeah? A little racing seat action. I love it. Can't forget the pillow. Guys, you guys are not gonna believe this. I'm serious here, check this out. Look, oh my God. Instructions with pictures. Holy crap, and it's laminated. Oh man, yo. They is just treating me today, let me tell you. Oh my god. Yeah, there's so much in this box, so much more than I like thought there would be in a box with like chair stuff. God damn. I legitimately feel like I'm unpacking some like weapon of mass destruction or something. I don't take over as you were. Step one, lay out the foam sheets on the package on a flat surface and place the wheelbase upside down. No thanks, I don't want to use foam, I'm a rebel. Look, I winded it, it's all got wheels. Woo I'm assuming this penis shaped thing is the piston. Maybe? I don't know. Now it's telling me to apply the piston sleeve, better known as the condom. Protected. Got that done that wasn't too hard we had the back parts on now now we have to take 
Uh, I already did that. Wait, did I skip step? Wait, did I skip a step? Just the bracket on the left side towards, I already did that. Attach the side covers with the Phillips screw using a Phillips, okay, got it. And then we bend it over and do it in the butt. Sweet. Anal beads are giving up. Oh god, can you guys see me? Dude, I need new anal beads. Someone send me new anal beads in fan mail. These ones are like breaking. They're not like as sturdy anymore. They make me cry. They, they don't they don't work very good anymore. And boom, at the same time. There it is. I am more than happy with it. I've already sat in it and it feels I like how stiff it is. Uh, and it definitely fits my body shape a lot better. It's a little slimmer than my DX Racer was. So pretty excited on this thing. It looks freaking awesome. I hope you guys like it. It'll be on streams and stuff, but I had to cut the, I wanted to cut this short because I have some talking to do to you guys about just kind of what's going on. Dude, I can rock back in this chair like super nicely. This is amazing. All right, so usually this part of the video is where I kind of throw you guys into my computer and I'll talk on that mic, but we're gonna cut that today. I'm gonna kind of just use my camera this time instead of using my computer and my super cool mic because then I have to sync those two and it gets kind of annoying. All right, so I know a lot of you guys are probably getting tired of hearing about some of the stuff, but some of you guys are actually generally worried and keep asking, so that's why I keep making videos like this. I have been thinking about some time, though, of making like a, a weekend video, something like this, on Saturday or Sunday, and it be kind of just an update of the week and what's going on in my life. Basically, it's just kind of like an update vlog. And if there's not a whole bunch going on in my life, I kind of talk about what's going on this week, what has happened this week, and kind of just like, in general, what life is going, like, what is going on in life. I think this week someone actually tried to kill themselves with a, or did kill themselves with a gun in a book or on YouTube. I'm sure you guys have heard about that. I think that's the most exciting thing that's happened this week. If we're counting that as exciting. Or sad. I'm not really sure. I think the girl's facing criminal charges. Anyways, Lotus. Oh my god, how many people are sick and tired of hearing me talk about my fucking Lotus? Believe it or not guys, I'm more tired of talking about my Lotus than you guys are about hearing it. What's happening now? Last time I gave you guys an update, it was, is the car stolen? What's going on? What's the update? Holy shit, why don't I have my car? Well, since that update, the car got tuned, but as it got into high RPMs, we were having boost creep. If you don't know what boost creep is, it's when too much boost is going into the engine and could cause the engine to explode, or the turbo to explode, and then explode into the engine, and then boom, and then I have no car. You do that by tuning it and have something called a wastegate. Wastegate is where extra fumes go, so it doesn't creep the boost and all the other mechanical shit that I don't know. Well, originally they thought it was a turbo was too powerful for my car. So they switched out for a uh, less powerful turbo and it's still doing the issue. You know what's going on though? No, at this point, I don't. I was left on Friday. Uh, I was told, hey, see you Wednesday. Have a great holiday weekend because uh, they're not open Monday or Tuesday this week. Oh, I have to wait even longer. At this point, everything is done. Mechanically wise, everything's done. The ECU works and they're trying to tune it. They can't tune it and that's because of the boost creep and they don't know what's causing the boost creep. Frankly, I don't know how a shop has been in service for so long and it doesn't know how to deal with something as simple as boost creep, but that's none of my business. Slowly by slowly, as honest as I can be here, my summer's being ruined. It's being completely ruined. Uh, it's being thrown into the dirt by Monkey Wrench. That sucks, man, because I had a lot of a lot of uh, passion for Monkey Wrench and I had a lot of hope in them and I really wanted them to get the stuff done and I really really believed in them. Honestly, my summer is actually being 100%ly ruined. I haven't been able to do any plans that I've wanted to do. I didn't get, even get to bring the car to the land and meet up. My literal summer is being destroyed. Now is the Lotus my only thing that I have all summer? No, but I had a lot of plans to go places with my car. I even want to go back to Virginia Beach again, but I'm not going if I can't have my car because I'm not taking my truck there. It is what it is, but that's kind of the Lotus update. We're waiting until July 5th for them to get back and try to figure out how to fix the boost creep because at this point, they don't know. On other news that isn't so depressing, I changed my major, uh, or I haven't done it officially, but I know you guys know I'm going to school for a history teacher, but I'm actually going to change it for elementary education. All right. Think about it. Me teaching your kids? <laughs> Seriously, I, the one of the reasons I thought about this is, is if I go and did 
any type of middle school or high school. Chances of me being noticed are pretty goddamn good. My elementary school, on the other hand, not really worried about it. But my whole thing was, is you know like, for example, I'm gonna throw Officer 401 out there. Officer 401 is a cop or a detective. Also a YouTuber and does, you know, his YouTube thing. He has the best of both worlds. Once I get out of college, uh, I would like to start into the schooling and get my career on the go, but not scale down YouTube. Basically be going, you know, teaching elementary school and then when I come home doing Twitch and come home doing YouTube and just keeping everything going and let you guys know stories and my my history and my experience so far as a teacher uh, in like a first person view. I don't know many YouTubers that do that, so I mean, I think it'd be cool. That's one of the reasons I want to change to elementary education is because I'm really concerned about conflict of interest as if I was a history teacher in middle school or high school. Tell me, what do you mean? If I'm a middle school or high school teacher and someone notices me, they're obviously gonna know my videos and at some point that will circulate to the principal. And when the principal finds my videos of me being like, fuck dick, ah shit, fucking penis, giant dildo. I probably won't have a job anymore. So the idea behind it is, you know, I won't be noticed in elementary school, I'm not really worried about it. Having both best of both worlds would be really cool. And it would be really cool to be able to be a teacher. It'd be really cool to be a YouTuber. It'd be really cool to be a Twitch streamer all at the same exact goddamn forsaken time also figured out uh, that I'm starting as a sophomore at Marshall University and they're considering me a sophomore but I have 54% of my degree completed so technically I'm a junior but I don't have my associate's degree so they're keeping me at a sophomore I I, I don't know I want to let you guys know before we get out of here I have a lot of plans Honestly, I have a shit ton of plans. West Virginia meetup. If you're not coming, make sure you freaking don't come. Well, that didn't sound right. If you're going to the meetup, there is a Facebook link I'm going to put in the description. It will say WV meetup. And there's gonna be a link next week. Make sure you guys go there and RSVP that you're going so I know how many people are going and do that before I forget. Anyways guys, I have a lot going on this summer that is slowly, slowly, slowly dying, but I'm trying to keep it in par and trying to keep it going before August starts when I have school. Uh, but guys, I have so many plans for the channel. I'm telling you, I have so many plans for the channel. Off the top of my head, I can think of Lotus coming back as one with all the turbo. That is just going to be insane. I go to car meets with it. You know, there's local car meets around here. They're not very big, but I would like to go to a Cars and Coffee. Down in the comments, what kind of, what Cars and Coffee could I travel to that's in my area that you guys recommend me going to? That's a decent Cars and Coffee. I'd like to go to a big one, um, but obviously I know I don't live in a very big area. Let me know down in the comments. I have a business I'm starting up. That's actually some of the stuff that I need is shipping Monday, which is going to be included on the YouTube channel because originally it won't be a business, but it is going to be something that I put on the YouTube channel first before I start doing it. Fourth, I have that collab with Street Speed 717. I don't know if I'm necessarily collabing with him, but I know I'm going up there to Inchain Designs and I'm getting a vinyl wrap done on the car. And again, I can't do that without my fucking car. That's still something else that I'm doing. That is still, that is huge. The turbo is huge. This business I'm starting is huge. And I have another opportunity that I'm not gonna talk much about right now. Uh, I have a brew, it's brewing right now. I got in contact with said person. I will know this Wednesday basically what's going on. If it goes my way, it's gonna be freaking awesome. It's probably going to be bigger than anything else that I was doing. There's a lot going on guys. Right there is four things. Two of them are dependent on getting my car back. The other two are happening in, de well one is happening definitely. Flipping you off, this is my ring finger. And the other one is potentially happening. Guys, I have a lot of big things I'm brewing up for the channel. I'm telling you, I'm probably the end of July, maybe August, all of this is gonna come together and just explode. It sucks that it's all happening at once because it wasn't supposed to happen that way. But it's all brewing together and it's all gonna just drop at once. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys would please do me a big, huge, humongous favor. Do me a favor right now. Stop what you're doing, hit the like button. I really appreciate you guys. Hitting the like button helps my videos out go out there on the whole YouTube world, and it also shows me that you guys like my videos. So on the weekends, I don't do necessary motor vlogs all the time. On the weekends, I wanna try to stick to a video like this. So that'd be a great question for you guys. Uh, what do you guys think about a weekend video is something like this, a weekend video, kind of like an update of the week of what's going on, the latest update, and kind of just what's going on with my life and or what's going on in the you know the whole world. Really, really could use your guys' criticism and or use your guys' opinions on this. 
Yes, I'm asking for your opinion. So yes, tell me how much I need to get a haircut down in the comments. Seriously, guys, let me know what you think about this type of video, and I, I would like to make these on the weekends, and it would be something cool just to keep up. But if you guys don't like them, obviously, well, I'll just go fuck myself. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Comment if you haven't subscribed yet, guys. Make a freaking YouTube account and subscribe. Hit the like button, please, if you guys really enjoyed the video. I'm going to have two videos up on the screen here in a second. You guys can go watch. I really appreciate you guys coming out. And I'll see you guys on Monday cause, or tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a motor vlog. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to vlog about yet. But it will be a motor vlog tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys on the other one. 